right, y'all. So I'm back on one of my favorite roads. I am here with the 2019 Indian Chieftain with the 585 cams. And I'm about to go on one of my favorite roads. So yeah, let's have some fun. So you catch my last few videos, a few videos back, I hit this road. There was uh, two little critters decided to run across the road that I'm gonna make sure I'm prepared for this time, AKA not riding this road. Like I don't have somewhere to be when I get done. What we are gonna do. We'll start this baby up. We're gonna have a little fun. Oh, kickstand's down. Coast is clear. Let's see, we're in sport mode. Ooh. Let's see what we got. Oh no, we're out of gas. Oh, okay. There we go. Wait a minute, why are we telling me I'm out of gas now? So yes, I'm very used to this road, but being that this is on a bike that I don't know as well as my own personal bike, I would not be taking it too, uh, I guess, aggressive. So for those of you that don't know, this is actually my uncle's bike. And I have very, I guess, easily, or I guess, e or easy access to it. So I can ride it pretty much whenever he's not on it. That's what I'm doing today, and especially because this specific Indian Chieftain has Lloyd's 585 kit in it. And if you want to check all this stuff out about that, you can click up here and you will see all of that. But this bike's pushing out 106 horsepower and around 125 foot pounds of torque, if you wanted to know. That is, I'm not, I don't remember if that's to the wheel. I don't remember. But it was on the dyno, so figure it out. <laughs> But we are on a back road that is very, I guess, readily accessed to me in my town. And I'm just taking it on some back roads to get a feel for it and see how the power delivery is when you're powering in and out of curves. This feels good. But we do have a stop coming up here. Wait a minute, we're doing 80 miles an hour on this road? Dude, it doesn't feel like we're doing 80 miles an hour. It feels like we're doing like 60. I know we got a nice little curve right here. I'm checking way ahead because deer do like to frequent this area. Ugh. 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 Yes. Okay, you know what? I just want to get a good look at this thing. Um, more time before I go on this road so you guys can I guess see it a little bit better while we're actually rolling but yes so we're gonna go this way oh there's a deer what the hell was that was that a coyote something just jumped across the road you know what y'all playing with me today you're playing with me and I don't like it I don't like it so yes, we're gonna go this way. That road kind of goes back to where we came from, but y'all, these animals, they're not playing today. So, you know, we're gonna be extra careful today because again, this is not my bike. And of course, even if it was my bike, I don't wanna have an accident. But so far, so good on this thing, man, with this with this 585 cam in it. The delivery is just, oh, it feels so good. It's so close to 116 and that lope. But it feels like it's not too much. It is just enough. It's almost as if the Thunderstroke should have came this way. But then this is Lloyd's cam. This isn't Indian's cam. So I don't really know what Indian's cam feels like in this bike, but I do know what the 116 feels like. But again, it is, it is very close, but it is so good. Now that we got a few beauty shots of the Chieftain, let's go ahead and tackle this road. All right. Let's do this. Oops. Whew. She 
He's a getter. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. I love the backfires too. Alright, so I got a bump coming up here right about here. Yep. I imagine that on a bike that doesn't have as good of a suspension system as this one. <laughs> You're gonna be bouncing all over the place. This bike is just so good, guys. It's just so good. <laughs> it reminds me so much of the 109. Wait for this hook right here. This bike reminds me so much of the 109 in terms of how it bites and how the exhaust just talks to you. It lets you know every, it lets you know every single thing that it's doing when it's doing it. But the power, it just builds. Like it does. Like when you pull the throttle, like that, you get that initial like. But it's 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 not long, where it's letting you know what you're doing, and it wants you to make sure that you're. You, like it wants it wants you to make sure that you know what you're doing before you before it gives you all the power. See, you. I wonder, can you guys? I'm, I'm hoping that comes over the mic so you guys can kind of hear the, the difference in exhaust note when it changes. It's like that initial bite and then it puts you into the power band as the RPMs rise. But this is enjoyable. We're doing 70, an average of 70 miles an hour probably, 65-ish, I don't know. But this is plenty. This is plenty. Ooh, that bites, that bite, guys, that bite. I love it. I love this. I love this so much. And it has just enough power to power out of these curves, man. It's, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. A better word for it would be, that was a bird. A better word for it would be like delicious. It's just so good. I just shifted into six, I think. So I was holding four fifth gear the whole time. Now I will say that this exhaust does, I mean, well, this, this bike does have the tab performance mufflers on it. So there is a little bit the exhaust is a little bit louder and it kind of rings my ears a little bit when you get on it but i don't have the quietest of helmets either but i'd imagine if you were doing this uh open faced like if you're at thunder beach it would ring the hell out of your ears but yes i'm having a good time on this guys i don't get a chance to ride this bike too often but I'm gonna to try to take up the opportunities when I can, especially because I, I want to give you guys a, I want to give you guys an overall review of this thing and kind of break it down a little bit um, about, I guess, the ins and outs of it as far as the paperwork goes. Because I, uh, I like to give you guys all the information when I'm doing these kind of things. But this is this this is so much fun. And something that I'm surprised about. That really shocked me. See, the birds are even like, what the hell is that? Something that shocked me was these mid-risers. I was not expecting these mid-risers to, I guess, be that ideal for my height. And I know some of you are out there are probably under six feet with mid-risers on the Chieftain and the Springfield. But at first, I didn't really like them because I felt like they were too much for me. But right now, being on it, when I'm actually riding and not dealing with low speed maneuvers like this is this is it like this is it and that's not to say that the stock setup isn't I guess good it is but I guess if you wanted a little bit of comfort and add a little bit of razzle dazzle to the look hey this is definitely it man because I'm incredibly comfortable and again I'm watching for deer 
because deer like to frequent this area and jump out and give you a little razzle dazzle of their own. But yeah, this is this is an this is a pleasurable experience here. I would enjoy this on the 111 just as much as I would on I guess. Well, I mean this is it, I, this still is a 111. What am I saying? This 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 still is a 111. It just has a different cam profile and a tune with mufflers, of course. But this is still the same bore size. It's still a 111. But man, this thing is ripping, man. It is so. It is so good. That's 80 miles an hour, man. This is so good. I love it. I want one. I already wanted a Chieftain. Well, I wanted a Chieftain with the 116, but, you know, 116, the Chieftain is already pretty expensive as, as it is for, for me. But, you know, I thought about the Springfield, thought about the Chief, thought about the different options, even getting an older one. But man, this is this is something different. It's cheaper. You're still spending several, I guess, close to several thousand to get this setup extra over the cheap. Then when you talk about the, the the cams and everything, but as this is right now, this is so good. I'm in fifth gear and I just throttle down and it's there. Look at that. Yeah, no, no. Let me slow down. As, I'm sorry, baby. I know you got it. I know you got it. I know you got it. You got everything, don't you? Mm, that's just butter, y'all. I love that so much. Ooh, grass. That's the why y'all why y'all why y'all do that? That's that's like death for a biker right there. And it smells fresh too, like they just did it. Like that's 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 new new. That's new, new grass. That's new, new. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cap the video at this one because I don't want to hold you guys up too long. But I do want to tell you guys to don't forget to hit that subscribe button because trust me, I got a California trip coming up and it's gonna get crazy. to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed any piece of this video because around here Brandon Picasso likes to do things a little different but yes hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in the next video Bye.